Hello guys, it's me Nasmus and welcome to another Nasmus Labs video where I talk about technology, gaming, rapid transit, how to's and a lot more. And today we're going to talk about the Xbox One S versus the PS4 Slim. So if you guys like the content, make sure to hit a like and subscribe for more coming your way. Now. So, should you get the Xbox One S or the PS4 Slim? Well, that's a tough question, is it? Well, let me tell you something. I'll uh, before I get started, I'll tell you something. I'm a, I am on I was an Xbox One fan from the beginning, but I always knew that PS4 resonated with the gamers a lot more because in the beginning, Microsoft made a lot of mistakes, a lot of obvious mistakes they shouldn't should not should not should not have made that brought Sony to the top and Sony ma made a huge pitch that they're for the gamers well I think since then after Sony has been selling twice as much as PS4's than the Xbox One S or, sorry PS4's versus the Xbox One um, I think Sony has gotten a little bit arrogant a little, a little more over the, I mean I think they're they think they can coast and ride their victory uh, whereas Microsoft has been improving the Xbox One significantly since launch. I mean, Sony did have a few updates. They brought um, new features to the PlayStation, such as you know a meter media player with it, like they believe to play media media files on from USB drives, I believe. But the Xbox has made a much more grander, uh, much more significant bunch of improvements improvements that were unthinkable with Xbox one launched uh, the biggest one being is the backwards compatibility when uh, both the eighth gen when both eight gen consoles launched the ps4 and the Xbox one they both uh, <laughs> had no guarantee or in fact they said there is no there is no at all no backwards compatibility for seven gen games seven gen generation console games so ps4 couldn't play ps3 games and xbox one couldn't play xbox 360 games i mean there was and there was no hope of getting it working either because those seven gen consoles are really powerful and they have a totally different arc uh, cpu architecture processor architecture that made it makes it ho really hard to uh, em emulate with a gen with the power of an eight gen console so we no, we didn't even think that a backwards compatibility solution would have been possible. The best, uh, the closest we've gotten to a potential backwards compatibility was through streaming. Um, but Microsoft, the engineers in Microsoft, has actually proven themselves very, very <laughs> intelligent, very talented when they figured out how to emulate the entire Xbox 360 console with its power, power PC architecture and ma made it possible to run Xbox 360 games on top of Xbox One uh, at no additional you know processing equipment or no additional uh, add-ons or no additional cost to the user in fact if you had an Xbox 360 game either as a disk space or th uh, through a digital purchase you could play it no questions asked on the Xbox One just download and go right so it's very simple, very similar. I mean, it, it is amazing. It works perfectly. The, I I'm, I was surprised myself when I saw the Xbox uh, 360 being emulated on the Xbox One. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now, what did Sony do on the other hand? I mean, the cell Sony PS3 was built based on the cell architect architecture. The cell CPU is very a lot harder to emulate than the power PC of the Xbox 360 so I, I don't blame Sony for not being able to emulate or provide native backwards compatibility on the PS4 however Sony unlike Microsoft uh, is requiring people people let me get let me get back to that Sony is providing uh, a way for people to play PS2 P and PS3 games on their PS4 through a service called PlayStation Now. Now, unlike Microsoft, and I think this is where Sony is being customer unfriendly, uh, they are requiring you to pay again for games you have already owned on the PS2 and PS3. I mean, there's no way to authenticate that you own a game, so you don't have to pay again. Now, I understand uh, there, th there's arguments on both sides. One is that you're paying for a game you already own. The other is the other side of the argument which is completely valid is well you paid for a game for a 
for a specific console knowing that there was no guarantee that the game you bought would work on something else so when you pay when you bought that game you can you went in with the expectations and the company delivered you anything more you get is actually bonus right and also understand that streaming service costs money i mean the company has to provide servers they have to run the games they have to deliver it to you in a good bandwidth so this costs money so if if you paid like uh, i don't know 50, 40 to 60 dollars on a game one time and and you expect sony to provide you the with uh the service for years down the line i mean at some point it's not cost effective right you're you're getting an additional service from sony um and you pay for it right so i see arguments on both sides okay so again I'm, but i'm saying that xbox one got a huge feature since the uh, the or launch of xbox one right and other features include the new xbox experience cortana voice assistant and um a better ui from part of the new xbox experience universal apps now you could have like any type of apps you want um including emulators so that's pretty cool there's an n64 emulator but yeah these are things that have been made on the xbox one and now i will say the xbox one s solves a bit a lot of the xbox one's size problems the xbox one the, one of the big problems for the original xbox was that it original xbox one was that it was big right so it was big it was uh, have, it, it took up a lot of space, looked bulky. Well, the Xbox One S, uh, the new version, uh, is much smaller. They say Microsoft says 40% smaller, and the, there's an internal power supply, whereas the original Xbox One had an external huge power supply. Um, so a lot of space saving. So, and it also looks nicer. To, most people agree. I mean, there's some people who like the original Xbox One, but but the, a lot of people agree that the Xbox One X looks nicer. So you'll have a better looking console. Very. I'm not saying better than looking than PS4, but at least better looking than the original Xbox One. So you have that, and also it has a UHD Ultra HD 4K Blu-ray player. And to buy a Blu-ray player, like if you want to buy a Ultra HD Blu-ray player uh, right now, uh, you get uh, you have to pay um, close to what you pay for an Xbox One S. So by pay, buying an Xbox One S, you get an Ultra HD Blu-ray player, which are really expensive at this moment, and you get a fully-fledged game console with hundreds of Xbox 360 compatible games. That is amazing. So you get an Xbox 360, Xbox One, you get an Ultra HD Blu-ray player, and you get a 4K streaming box. All with and there's some upgrades from the original Xbox One. Um, you get a little bit of faster processor, so that it may be a little bit less. Uh, uh, fr better frame rates in some games but don't expect it i mean if one game ran i don't know at 28 frames per second another game would run 30 frames per second and for some games right so uh, maybe one game went to 900p uh d f well one day game scaled down from 1080 to 900p for a second but say that might that doesn't happen in that scene in the xbox one s but you know but it's gonna be minor but you do get upgrades such as hdr and 4k streaming like i said hdr for gaming that is so you get hdr gaming new games have to support it but they will get updated and you get th that feature on the xbox one s now playstation 4 slim okay let's talk about that um i personally see no reason to get a playstation 4 slim actually i mean it is smaller but the ps4 well it was bigger from the ps3 i think bigger than the ps3 I think PlayStation 4 is a pretty good looking console. I mean, it was a smaller console than the Xbox One. I think it's the size of an Xbox One S, give, us, give or take. So, it was a nice looking console. It looked good. It was smaller. And the big, uh, there is, like, uh, on the PlayStation 4 Slim, there's nothing new on it, right? I mean, there's the only thing that's different from P PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 4 Slim is that it's a little smaller. And I think it looks uglier. I think the PlayStation original PlayStation 4 looks a lot better than the placed PS4 Slim. I, I honestly do. And and I think if you could get a placed original PlayStation 4 at a lower price than the PS4 Slim, I definitely would go over the original PlayStation 4 because you're literally getting nothing with the PS4 Slim. And um, and uh, even the HDR functionality, my PS4 did something better than the Microsoft's Xbox One here. 
they said they're bringing HDR to um, older original PS4 consoles. So even if you want HDR, you don't even need to upgrade. So now we haven't had any com comparisons of how HDR work looks and works compared to the uh, Xbox One versus PS4. Um, but uh, I think I can't wait to see um, tests showing how HDR looks on the PS4 versus the Xbox One S. So until we do that, I can't say much about that. However, I think that if you so there are several options. If you have a PS4, there is <coughs> excuse me, there is absolutely no reason to get a PS4 Slim. Now. If you have an Xbox One, the original Xbox One, I there is no reason to get an Xbox One S unless you want you have a 4K TV and you want HDR. I suggest if you could sell the original Xbox One at a good price. Yeah, I see I see reasons to get an Xbox One S for a UHD Blu-ray player. Also, if you, maybe you have an Xbox One S. Maybe you're thinking of buying a UHD Blu-ray player. Uh, sorry, maybe you have an original Xbox One and maybe you want to think about buying a UHD Blu-ray player. Well, in that case, uh, you know, you could just buy an Xbox One S, right? Maybe s give your original Xbox One to a friend or family or maybe sell it down the road. Or, I don't know. So, maybe have one in another room. I don't know. So, but again, I see reasons to get an Xbox One S even if you have an original Xbox One. Though the situa scenarios are limited here. But on the PS4 side, I see absolutely no reason to get a PS4 Slim. In fact, even if you don't even have it, if you even if you don't own a PS4, if you can find a PS4 for a better price, if, price original PS4, or if you find a, a clearance, or if you find a bundle for the original PS4 versus the uh, new, new PS4 Slim, I suggest go for the original PS4. E even I think, uh, even if the prices are the same, I personally think the original PS4 looks better. That's just my opinion. I mean, you can look it up on Google the pictures. But um, I think the uh, I think there's I think I'll go to the PS original PS4. Now, here's a trick question: If you don't have either consoles, what should you get? Um, should you get an Xbox One S or the PS4? Now, question is: Do you have an Xbox 360? If you have a investment on Xbox 360 games, I highly recommend going to Xbox One because you get to keep bring over games forward. But if you don't have an Xbox 360, or if you don't care about bringing your games forward, or if you have PS3s, now it becomes a question of what games you want to play. Now, unless you want to play um, some Sony exclusive games, I would say go for the Xbox One S. Um, there's various reasons for that. One, I'm a I love the Xbox, so I'm letting you know that I'm a Xbox fan, but. I'm not a fanboy in that I will, I will not it's not that I won't criticize Microsoft for being doing the wrong thing or doing wrong by its customers I'm just saying I personally prefer an Xbox one uh, for legitimate reason, reasons but here's why I think you should go for the Xbox one if you don't care much about the exclusive um, exclusive games that Sony offer and the reason is simple is because if you don't care about the exclusive games, most of the cross cross pla most of the third party, most if not all third uh, non exclusive, uh, actually, m most third party games work on both PS4 and Xbox One. So, if you don't care about the Sony exclusive games, you're not missing out, uh, el missing out, mi missing anything else. Um, but the benefit you get here is you get the UHD Blu ray player. Uh, you your feature proofing on that at all as well as you get new features like backwards compatibility so you have the ability to play older games if you need to, if you want to buy it in the future so like the backwards compatibility is not all, only for people who j are used to own previous games it's also for people who wants to buy old games and to play on their new console so if you want to play something like Bejeweled 3 or something Portal 2 on your console the Xbox One is the way to go also they have Microsoft has a program called Xbox Play Anywhere you could buy a game on your Xbox One and own it as well on PC. So stuff like this makes Xbox a better option if you don't care about the PlayStation exclusive. And now people might be thinking about PSVR. I would wait for that. I want to see reviews. Uh, you, if you want to wait, I would wait. If you want to see, uh, look at the reviews. If the if if the PS4 VR games are PSVR games are worth it are 
or the reviews are good and you're interested then i think going for the ps4 but i don't i don't think the ps4 vr would be will be such will be a success for now we'll talk about that more when you talk about the ps4 pro and the xbox one scorpio but for now i'd say um i would get for the xbox one s unless you have um, exclusive that you care about for Sony exclusives like Uncharted or something so yeah so there's my reasons uh, take it how you will uh, so yeah if you have any questions or comments what do you think uh, let me know let me know down in the comments down below I'll, I'll definitely take a look what you have to at what you have to say so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe really appreciate it and uh, yeah I'll have more videos coming on your coming your way many of them are gaming some of them are technology, many of them are technology, some of them are transit videos, specifically rapid transit vehicles, and I'll have education content as well. So if you like any of these type of content, make sure to subscribe so you knew, you get notified when I have new content. Alright guys, thank you for watching and have a good one.